Hi boys and girls! Today's book is another one of my favorites. It's called Chester and I love it because it's written by Melanie Watt and Chester doesn't really like all the things that she wrote in the book. So anything that you'll see written in black is written by the real author Melanie Watt and anything written in red is actually written by Chester. So you'll see he says even, place my award here. He thinks he's he's well deserving of it. All right, so let's get into Chester and see if you like it as much as I do. <clears throat> she starts with an intro page. Dear readers, I apologize for Chester's behavior in my mouse story. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sincerely, Melanie Watt. And in the red, this is Chester, mummer. So he just goes, blah, blah, blah. Chester has a little bit of an attitude. And sometimes in books, they do dedications. They dedicate their book to their families or friends or someone who inspired them. So Melanie Watt put four, Marcos, Ava, Melinda, and Layla. Chester crossed it off and put four, Chester, because I couldn't have made this book without him. He's the smartest, most handsome cat in the world. And I wish I could be just like him someday. All right, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a mouse, and he lived in a house in the country. So remember, Melanie wrote this, and then the red is Chester. Then the mouse packed his bags and went on a trip very, very far away, and we never saw him again. So Chester moved in, and made a few changes to his new place. See those changes? My curtains, Chester's chair, Chester's home sweet home. And look at all the pictures on the wall, what he did to them. But Mouse returned home. Oh yes, did I mention he brought back a really big souvenir with teeth. So Melanie's playing Chester now. She's bringing a dog into the story because she knows a lot of cats don't like dogs. Now back to the story. Once upon a time there was a mouse. He lived in Chester! Move out of the way! He lived in the country with his vegetarian dog who only ate carrots. Then Melanie begged Chester to write a better story, and it goes like this. Ready for Chester's story? Once upon a time, there was me. Chester stands for, and this is called an acrostic poem. When you use a letter from each word, he's using Chester, and then a word or phrase to describe it. C, charming. H is for handsome. E, Envy of mouse. C, smart. T, talented. E, envy of Melanie, the author. And R, really handsome. Chester lived in Chesterville where mice weren't allowed. It was a beautiful day. Until, now Melanie wrote, but this part, it started to rain. And she wiped out all his illustrations. Nice play, Melanie. Now, as I was saying, once upon a time there was a, ha a mouse. And he lived in a house in the country. And he lived happily ever after. Guess Chester wants his book to end. The end. You could tell I read up this book a lot because can you see how it's falling apart? It's always good to read books you like more than once. Chester, Chester, this is where I draw the line. Nope, I'm drawing the line. Do not cross this line. Keep out, Chester side. Chester? That's enough. Now hand over the marker this instant. 
Chester's busy. Zzz. Hi, I am Melanie Watt, and I am very angry. Hello, I am boring, and I am jealous of Chester. Chester cracks me up. Chester, I'm warning you. Head, hand over the marker and apologize before I get to three. One, two, three. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. La la la. All right, Chester, you want your own story? You want to be the star of this book? Well, here, get ready, here it is. Finally! <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a cat named Chester. He lived in a house in the country. Chester was a very handsome cat, especially when he wore pink. You wouldn't. I think she's about to get him back. Especially when he wore a pink tutu. <laughs> Even has a crown. Now it's personal, says Chester. And the last page, he doodled all over the author. I thought that was a pretty clever book. I haven't seen many books written that way. So I wanted to share it with you because it was one of my favorites. Hope you guys have a great day. See you again soon.